morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter. It is now week 47. Um, so we are nearly at the end of the year. It's busy, busy, busy here today. I've actually had to put some slap on today, even though it's made no difference because the second head went down. I'm now getting a third head. Joy. Um, we have lots of lovely people in today. Behind me you can see Sarah. Give us a wave, Sarah. <laughs> She's making a mug bag. In the corner there is Katie. Katie, give us a wave. She's making a drawstring bag. And behind me is a face we've not seen for a little while. Turn around, Naomi. Give us a wave. <laughs> She's coming to make some project bags. And we've got the lovely Carol and Claire in the lounge. Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so Sarah has finished her mug bag, which is gorgeous. And she's made a, oof, a little tea bag holder to go with it and a little tissue pouch. This is destined for the teachers, isn't it, Sarah? It is, Christmas present. I'm now doing the same for my daughter's teachers. They're getting mug bags with these little bits and pieces and she's also spent her spare time cutting out another one. So she's got one for her other teacher too. So Naomi's finished her pouches. She's got Captain Jack Sparrow fabric. And some happy Halloween fabric. You're not going to see this on camera, but that is actually sparkly rose gold, that pumpkin. And she's got lovely zip tabs in the top here and a boxed bottom. And this little one here she made at home. But I think she's done a fabulous job. A day well spent, young lady. Thank you. Wow, what a busy day. So as you can see, lots of people have got lots of things done. I have just this minute filmed a little advert for the So Beautiful Things Sewing Club. I'm finally ready to announce all the details for both the bronze and the silver lounge and let you know how you can get involved. I will link it down below just in case you don't already know. Um, but that advert will be going live on Facebook and various social media resources, sources, social media platforms um, and also on this YouTube channel. So you're going to see it at some point, I'm sure. I have had a day personally where I've got loads of cutting out done. Let me spin you around and I'll show you what I've been up to. So this whole table is covered with things that I've cut out. This here is all of this gorgeous, this is Riley Blake fabric, it's absolutely stunning. This is all of the pieces for my um, storage box that I showed you last week, but this is all cut out ready for me to film. Um, I'm going to film that hopefully next week and that will be all done and dusted then. I've cut all the foam and all the panels and everything. I just need to wait, I need to order some more of this orange fabric um, and they're going to post that to me, so I need to wait for that to arrive. But I can do a lot of it because the orange that I'm waiting for is for one of the final steps. I have also made this lovely little lip balm holder and come up with a little tutorial for that. Um, I'll be filming that at some point. The bed sheet is now an Anglo-Saxon costume. You won't believe it, but it is. You'll have to wait till next week to see that. And I have cut out the mug bag that I'm going to film for the mug bag part of our So Beautiful Things Sewing Club. That's then going to become a present for one of Izzy's teachers. Um, I've cut out another mug bag, which I'm going to get making. That's going to be a present for her other teacher. I have cut out a tissue pouch um, that would matches the lip balm holder and that's going to be a present for her teaching assistant. I hope neither of these people watch my YouTube channel actually because that could scupper things but never mind. Um, and to go in the mug bags I've done a tea bag holder and a tissue pouch um, and a tea bag holder and a tissue pouch to match so I need to get those all sewn up and I've cut out another lip balm holder so that I can film a tutorial with that so yeah busy day <laughs> down here is like carnage look down here is all of the projects from the sewing club the bronze and the silver lounge and i've just been sort of filming here and as i've been telling you about them i've been chucking them down on the floor um i think i'm just going to leave them there and sort them out in the morning oh no i completely forgot the mug bag holder that's still sitting over there oh bugger i'll have to include that bit in um okay excuse my language sorry um anyway i need to go home Ooh, but like it's half past five um, and we people need feeding. I will be back tomorrow. We have a day of crochet and fabric mosaic tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning, it's Saturday, welcome back to BTHQ Banter. Behind me, our two lovely ladies are back for part two of their intermediate crochet calls and they're busy working on their granny squares. But next door, we have a brand new class taking place. The lovely Eva who does our mosaic workshops has come back to BTHQ. She has invented something called fabric mosaics. So I'm gonna take you next door and show you what they're up to. I'm coming in. Say hello everybody! Hello everybody! Oh, it's getting so good. This is the lovely Eva. You've probably met her before. And she is teaching fabric mosaics. And all I want to say is look at the sparkles! There's just glitter and bling, bling and look, Viv's got all sorts of beautiful gems. She's like a little magpie. Oh. Magpie, magpie. Rachel's <laughs> here and Gayla and look who it is! <laughs> you might recognise the lovely Debbie from my opening <laughs> sequence or if you watch any of Sean Kidnish Behaviour's blogs, she has come along to see us today. So let's have a look at what that's these actually are. That's one that's are. finished there. Oh, that's beautiful. Very pretty. <laughs> Let's have a look at them closer. That's Eva. the finished ones, yeah. So these are the little fabric mosaics. So you can see it's using all of these beautiful trims. They're not going to focus in all that well, I don't think. But we don't want to give it all away anyway. No. <laughs> um, all these beautiful trims to create these gorgeous little tiles. And Eva's popped magnets onto the back of them. So, oh, here's one I made earlier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can yeah. pop them onto little cards. So you can give them as gifts. Um, you can post them to people and they've got little magnets on the back so they make absolutely gorgeous little gifts. So you could turn them into brooches as well, couldn't yeah, you? Brooches. Yeah. Yeah, 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 brooches yeah. are lovely. So yeah, these lovely ladies are enjoying the bling. Oh, we'll yes. see what they get up to when they've finished. <laughs> I'll zoom in on that. Oh, yes! Go on, love it. <laughs> How beautiful are these? You've really excelled yourself, ladies. Of course. Ooh. Let's go back out. Vivian, I can see the camera in the shadow. It's getting out of the shadow. Well, we've had another splendid day at BTHQ. Those fabric mosaics were absolutely beautiful. Um, Eva has given me some dates, so she will be coming back next year, um, and I should get those on the website within the next couple of days. So by the time you see that, then they will be linked on the website, so I'll try and pop it down below for you. I've got a few bits finished. I managed to finish off the tissue pouches that go with the mug holder. And I've done two little tea bag holders, although I just need to stitch the button on the front of those. And then I've got my other mug bag ready to stitch together on Monday. Monday is a filming day. I'm planning on filming the mug bag course, which is going to be part of our online sewing club. Um, and that will then all be up on the system, ready to go live for our sewing club members, which is very exciting. So I'm going to go home now. Mr. Mac has apparently cooked me a romantic dinner. So I'm going Going to go and enjoy that and I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow because this week has been so busy I am absolutely exhausted so I'll see you all again on Monday bye good morning welcome back to BTHQ banter it is Monday it's 10 o'clock and I've come in a little bit later today because after the weekend my house was an absolute pigsty so I took great advantage of being able to go home after the school run and have an hour's like a whirlwind and it's so nice so I know now that when I go back at the end of the day it will be nice and clean and tidy um I've got a crazy day today I've got no classes I'm planning on filming the mug bag course I've got until half past three so got five and a half hours but my mum's not here today she's still on holiday so I do need to have a little bit of a tidy up here so I'm gonna have a super duper speedy clean um but I've got lots of other things to do. So I've got two lots of washing up that have been home this weekend in my dishwasher that needs to get put away. I bought a new wheelie trolley in Hobbycraft at the weekend and some crafty bits and pieces. I've got a play date with Elspeth on Thursday. More on that later. I think I need to be good and just put those under a table somewhere and deal with them later because otherwise I'll get distracted. And then on the way home on Saturday, I picked up all of this um 
lovely lady in the village is moving up to Northampton. She was clearing out her house um, and she's come across all sorts of crafty bits and pieces, fabric and everything else. So if we can use it, great. If we can't, then we've got lots of groups that we can pass it on to who do making and things for charity. It's really tempting to have a look in here now, um, but actually I should be good and leave it and do it tomorrow um, because I've only got one-to-ones this week and I've only got like part two of existing courses and they all take place next door. So actually... I can leave this here but I might leave it as a reward if I finish the mug bag course I might see what's in there but anyway you may or may not see me again today who knows well, it is now half past 12 and I have completed filming the mug bag course, which is awesome. I have also filmed a little tutorial to make these gorgeous little lip balm key rings. Oh, you can't see it, spun around. Um, they are really super cute. They are going to be part of my three mini gifts course, which I'm going to be releasing really soon. Um, if you helped us with the crowdfunder and that was the reward that you chose, the £15 reward for the three mini gift tutorial, then you'll be receiving that really soon. Um, and it will be available to purchase for a low cost if you didn't pledge for that crowdfunder reward. So that's good. Um, I also filmed a little video of some bits and pieces. I've been out and about shopping recently and I've come across lots of little things that I think are really useful that you could use in the craft room. So I filmed that so that will be up on the channel as well. Um, and I've now got three hours which is awesome. Um, I've got an idea for something else I'd like to film but I think I need to be really good and actually do my mum's job um, and <laughs> have a bit of a tidy up and a bit of a sort out. Um, so I'm going to have, like I did this morning, a speed clean at home I'm going to have a speed clean at the studio. The other thing in other news is, you might remember a little while ago I bought myself the G7X Mark III camera um, as part of the crowd funder and I haven't been using it because the autofocus had been really naff on it um, and Canon had been promising for a long while that they would do a firmware update on it so that it could be improved. Um, so I have found out that that is now ready to download so I'm going to download it. Now this snippet I am actually filming on the G7X Mark III and I think you'll agree it's much clearer, it's much better but I daren't move because if I move I'm going to go out of focus. So once I've finished filming today I'm going to take this home and I'm going to try and get that firmware up and running um, because on Friday I'm actually closing the studio for the day because I'm going to film a mammoth course. Um, it is that lovely storage box that you all saw in last week's BTHQ banter so I need to get that filmed and uploaded before I go away for Christmas. So I'm waffling. Sorry. I'll be back later. I'm off to clean now. Awesome, so it's half past two. I had a little clear up, which was great. Um, I filmed two more videos. <laughs> So I've had an absolute roll of a day and I finished all my teacher gifts that I started making the other day. So I've made a tea bag holder out of the lovely fabric that was sent to me by Little Stitcher Sews. <laughs> I say thank you for that. It's got um, a mug bag with a tissue pouch and a tea bag holder in there. Um, and then I've done another mug bag. This is also fabric from Little Stitcher So it's not the pink, but the patterned. Um, again, tea bag holder and tissue pouch. And then I have already showed you this, but this is my little lip balm key ring holder. And that has a little matching tissue pouch. And that little, um, the two little things are for the TA. So my daughter's got two teachers in it. TA. So for the last two years I've been really lame and I've just given to the financial contribution um, but I do like to make my own presents so this year I pulled my finger out and this one I actually filmed um, for the course so that was good and I had cut them both out already so busy busy I've got an hour left I think I'm going to cut out some knickers and I'm going to listen to the Scummy Mummies podcast. That was very exciting. I've turned the lights off because I'm going home. <laughs> I've just had my first foray with fold over elastic. Ooh, uh. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Welcome back to BTHQ Banter. Today is Wednesday. Um, you may have noticed Tuesday has completely slipped off 
the the weekly calendar it didn't happen um well it did happen <laughs> but i had absolutely nothing worthy of filming to be honest um i had um, my lovely crochet ladies back in for part two of their intermediate crochet um and then i made myself some knickers uh so i suppose that was exciting but I didn't film it, um, so you'll have to wait till my What I've Been Sewing video. So today is Wednesday, I've got my beginner crocheters back in today, a couple of one-to-ones, um, and Elspeth has come in to crack on with a few Christmas presents. It's what? Christmas! It's not Christmas yet. Yes it is, I'm feeling Christmassy. Isn't this good? It, oh, the top, it's very good. Have you got the matching pants on? No, they're in the wash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's got Dave and Davina out because uh, Dave was looking a bit sad and lonely and Davina was shoved in a corner so they're, they're out enjoying themselves today doing a, you can do a spot of sewing mate yes do you not talk anymore just nod alright it's going to be one of those days is it? Uh, get off look you two behave <laughs> oh You've squashed her nose going to Holland, you know. Her nose is out. She's, she's, she's out of joint. She's all, <laughs> look at her. She's, she's not as she was. Oh, dear. Well, I think all... she got up to naughtiness. I in think Holland, they both anyway. got up to naughtiness yes. in Holland. <laughs> Didn't you? Mm. I keep hearing abuse from Claire. She's shouting at her fabric. A thing's gone in wonky. A thing's gone in wonky. I mean, this is just disastrous. <laughs> She's doing the most amazing, exciting things, but I'm not going to show you because you'll have to look Shh, later. Secret. <laughs> There's a puppy with a hole in, a her, hole in back. her back. And I've already stuffed her head. Oh. It's all right. I should be able to turn this, this her poor... brains out. I'm going to leave her nose stuff, but I'm this... going to pull her brain out. Ah! Well, I suppose once you've pulled her brain out, she won't be feeling the pain no. anymore. No. But really, this is a bit violent. I think this particular video needs an X rating. She's just got a little bit of a... So they don't still do X rated, do they? What do they do now instead of X rated? 18. 18, right. This is an 18, YouTube. <laughs> bit That's late to tell you children. once you've watched the poor soul having her brains pulled out. Oh, there's the oh. hole. There it is. Ooh, I don't know if I can get to it without unstuffing her nose. Oh. <laughs> Stop staring at me. <laughs> They're all crocheting like mad. They're continuing their beginner's crochet. This yeah, is the expert. star group that does everything perfectly. <laughs> and then Leslie's come in because she's making something exotic. She's doing a poncho. She's doing a poncho. I knew it was exotic, you see. And Madam here, this is Madam who runs craft classes, right? And I don't teaches like people. And she is now whinging for England <laughs> because she's got to hand sew. Show us. Otherwise Show she's us. Gonna be because her, her poor stuffing. puppy has got a hernia and so she's going to have to sew her together <laughs> and it, down. <laughs> you don't want your ears down you're listening just leave the poor girl be now sew her tummy together very nicely and neatly I need some thread, please. <sighs> what color white thread pink. would you like excuse me while i go and fetch some white thread oh. right the 18 certificate <laughs> really is earned oh, and look at it. the <laughs> smug smile on the face of the torturer she's thoroughly enjoying she's herself. having a session of acupuncture she's flipping not she's being tortured i'm very happy with my pins thank you show us your tummy daphne no show us your tummy no. i want to see that you've had your operation it's not very well done can't tell where it is because it's nice right, and then. flowers so that's all right isn't it good girl <laughs> Yes, all right, all right, all right. I love the way your ears flap, but I do wish you hadn't got a lot of pins in your back. I think she's happy. Claire's certainly happy. I am. I've got a pin. Smug dog. smile of someone who's made herself a puppy dog. Sorry, a pin dog. <laughs> okay. I'm being videoed all day today, aren't I? <laughs> yep. It's kilo day again. And because of Christmas, 
because it is it's going to be christmas did you know it was going oh, to be I christmas know it was yeah christmas. we'll yeah. show them what this kilo is going to look like there is method in her madness because it's a very lightweight jersey it's a very lightweight jersey very good for a kilo we reckon and she's going to be in alls for christmas so what could you have better a summer kilo with father christmas on it and I'm going to dare her next time she takes me on a beach holiday to so take her in the middle of the summer. <laughs> yes. Uh, no. No? Oh. I will probably leave it in Australia, if I'm honest, because... Oh, then oh no. Mum-in-law will mum wear, it. wear it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that's... It's not Friday. I keep wanting to say Friday. That's Wednesday. <laughs> Over and done with. I've had a very successful day. Completed Daphne here, the Dashend. Um, <laughs> I have also cut out my Christmas kilo wrap dress. That's all cut out and good to go. Uh, what else have I done today? You've taught three. Oh, I've taught my beginners. I've done a get to know your sewing machine and Lucy bought herself an overlocker. So I've done a get to know your overlocker. I have invented a new little project, which is for a little headphone keeper. And I have also sewn a lovely little pouch. And those two, along with my lip balm holder, are going to get filmed and edited and put together for our three little gifts tutorial, which is available to everyone who purchased it on my recent crowdfunder and will also be available for you to purchase in due course and that i believe is that elspeth is currently busy cutting out something does the recipient no, watch, she doesn't, YouTube? Doesn't watch youtube she's currently no, not cutting interested. out a bag she bought this lovely panel when we were in amsterdam um, and she's cutting out all the fabric for that and you've been super productive today what have you made two reading cushions with tissue holders Another four tissue holders, scissors holder, um, a couple of tea bag holders, a couple of tea bag holders, all, all for various, various, various different dresses. people, recipients, and family members. So she's had a super productive day, which is awesome. The light in here is disgusting. Um, so yes, another BTHQ banter over and done with. We will see you all again next week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. bye.